Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another Transformers review. This time it's the new Takara MP11 ND Dirge. Um, it's always a great day when they uh, release another G1 character from the original cartoon. Um, and finally they've completed the Conehead Seekers with this new Dirge. So I think they released Thrust and Ramjet uh, earlier in 2016. Um, so it's uh, great that they finally finished the Seekers off. Um, I'll just quickly go through the accessories and so on um, in the box. So you, it's the standard sort of box art, nothing too fancy there. And on the back, just the pictures of the figure itself. So if you've got uh, other Transformers uh, masterpiece figures, you'll you'll know what you're getting into. The instruction book. I don't mind the uh, the cover art there. The wings um, are a little bit uh, different to the actual final figure. I think they uh, they got those wings the wrong way around because. Uh, on the actual figure they've got these grooves on the inside there but in jet mode that's where they have the flat sides on the top uh, but that's uh, not a big deal um, so instruction manual is pretty much standard for the seekers uh, it comes with this uh, collector card um, and I do like that they've got the usual uh, artwork from the original um, series of cards and not the the new sort of fancy artwork that they use um, and these are the people always ask me about um, how I get these, and uh, I just bought these off of eBay you know, a while ago. I bought a, a whole bunch, about uh, 50 of them. Um, and these are the Ultra Pro magnetic card holders, and uh, I do highly recommend these um, for saving your cards. Uh, other accessories wise, it doesn't come with uh, too much uh, dirge here. As with all the other seekers, he comes with the little uh, translucent pilot, um, which is clear on this one. Um, it's uh, pretty much a nothing accessory to me, to, to be honest, because I don't display them in, in jet mode. Um, but uh, for those that do, you can put them in the cockpit. He comes with his cluster bombs. They do come apart like so. And then you can... Uh, I haven't actually transformed him and figured out how to put these on the, uh, the jet. But uh, in bot mode, you can uh, take it apart and uh, place them over the... Uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the null rays. I'm not going to bother doing that but uh, you get the idea and I think uh, there might be an option to put them on the back somehow oh that's right so uh, you've got these uh, little peg holes here and uh, you see the little peg there so if you wanted uh, you could uh, slot them in there and have them uh, sticking out the back but uh, that's not a very clean finish for me and I do prefer to keep them as uh, cartoon accurate as possible in the display so um, this is pretty much how mine will look um, but I'll go give you guys a closer look at the figure. Hold on. All right, so straight out of the box, um, first impressions are that he is a slightly better build quality than Thrust, which uh, had the notorious uh, loose waist issue. So the waist on Dirge is uh, pretty much solid. There's no sort of movement at all if you um, push it down and, and tab it in correctly. Um, so there's no issues there, and you can lift him up, um, and it won't separate or, or flop around too much at all. So definitely better than Thrust on that. Um, people. I did have a lot of issues with Ramjet's uh, shoulders uh, when it was first released. Um, I was lucky enough to get mine without any uh, shoulder issues. Uh, they were assembled correctly. So I actually think Ramjet um, is my favorite out of the, the Conehead Seekers. Um, with Dirge here, uh, I guess the other first impression straight out of the box is that he, I found him to be very plasticky. I was looking, the first thing I was looking for was where, are, where the hell are all the paint apps? <laughs> so, his whole torso area here, even his face is unpainted um, from what I can see. Let me see. Um, if I zoom in right here, his whole um, uh, front uh, visage is a uh, grey plastic from, from what I can see. Whereas I think on Ramjet it was a, a nice sort of black paint. Um, his shoulders here, I guess the minor QC issues are is that um, with a lot of the recent um, Seekers, the sprue marks up the top are a little bit uh, unsightly. Uh, probably not as bad as uh, the ones I saw on Thundercracker, which was definitely the worst. Um, but uh, not sure why they can't uh, get that clean. Um, and the sprue marks around the shins here aren't too bad. I've seen worse as well, but um, just something to note. Um, so the the paint application, I was hoping to see some paint application on the, the chest area here, or even the, the hips. Um, or the forearms or something, but um, it is pretty much all plastic. So from a paint application perspective, I, th I think they, they only have done the, uh, the knee pads. Uh, there is a bit on the uh, air intake areas here, um, but that is pretty much it. 
apart from the uh, the insignias that are uh, tamped on. Um, other than that, he uh, there's probably a bit of um, metallic grey paint application there on the uh, the rear ankle supports there. Um, but other than that, um, there's not much uh, paint application to write home about. If uh, they had done, you know, what they how they painted these. If they had done that sort of paint application on his forearms or his chest, um, I think it would make him pop a lot more on display. Um, so other than that, um, he's pretty much a stock standard uh, seeker. Uh, from a remold perspective, uh, you'll see the the wings and these uh, interesting little uh, pivots. I'll, uh, I might not go through the transformation on screen because um, it always takes me forever for these masterpiece transformers. And uh, I think plenty of people have seen the, the general gist of how MP11 uh, transforms. Um, but uh, it's not too different from the other cone head, so he comes with the same uh, issue with um, this uh, cone, the plane, uh, the jet mode cone sitting down and being visible through his through his legs there, which is unfortunate. Um, but overall, it's not uh, not something that, uh, that bothers me too much. Um, and these panels at the back here do peg in uh, fairly nicely as well. Um, so that's pretty much it in bot mode. He comes with all the same articulation as the uh, the other MP11 molds. So um, I might just grab the other two cone heads and uh, give you guys a look at them together. Hold on. All right, so here are the three Takara cone heads uh, together and I think um, displayed together, they look absolutely fantastic. From a G1 cartoon aesthetic, I, I don't think uh, you can go wrong with these Takara figures. People always complain about how big the um, knee pads are and uh, people don't seem to like uh, the head sculpts and so on but I think from the overall body proportions and G1 cartoon accuracy perspective I think uh, these are the best ones out there. I think some of the third party figures like uh, I think they're called Yes model um, they're probably the closest and I don't think um, well I think those ones look, uh, look pretty good too um, but uh, a lot of the other third party figures either have heads that are too small um, overall proportions that don't look quite right, um, but I think Takara have struck the perfect balance. Um, just the, some of the touching on some of the points that I made before. So there's the metallic face of Ramjet, um, and you can compare that against Durgeon. I think just that metallic face makes a big difference to, I guess, the the premium look of these figures. Uh, Ram, uh, Thrust here just has his white face and yellow eyes, which is is cartoon accurate, so I can't complain too much about that. And again, just looking again at all of them, there's pretty much uh, not too to, not too much um, paint application across the board on all of them. So at least they've uh, got that consistency there. Um, and again, the shoulders on mine are okay. And as you can see, the the hips, the uh, thrust here is a little a little bit floppy. But I've pushed it down as far as I can go, and it's uh, probably not as bad as others that I've seen. But um, that's pretty much it in bot mode. Um, I might spend some time now and just get him into his jet mode. I, I always try and at least transform my figures at least once. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll do that off camera and uh, give you guys a look at the jet mode in a sec. Hold on. Alright, so here is Dirge in jet mode and for the most part uh, it looks pretty damn good. Um, for the cone heads, I think uh, my favourite is still probably Thrust in uh, jet mode, uh, just purely because of the details on the wings and so on. Uh, but from a cartoon accuracy, Dirge is pretty much uh, okay. The hardest parts for me during the transformation were these wings and making sure I didn't snap anything off. Um, folding them along these little um, hinges that they've got in there uh, was a little bit tricky. Um, and as, as always, I always have trouble with this MP11 mold in inserting the legs. So I'm not sure if it's because of the way I have the knee joints that gives the clearance to allow it to push in. But no matter how I tried it, I just couldn't get this top bit here to lay flush. Um, if I tried to raise this up with the knee joint, um, it wouldn't slide in. If I lowered it, it slid in, but uh, then it wouldn't align with that. So I'm not quite sure what uh, the issue is there, uh, but I'm not going to display it in, in jet mode. Um, so it's uh, not too big a deal. Uh, but once you fold these little wing clips out, um, and they do clip in up the top here uh, fairly nicely. Um, and then you just pretty much uh, rotate these uh, wing or the null ray connectors out and then tab it into the wing there. So uh, on mine, uh, you I think you need to be very careful with the ball joints on these connector pieces here. They are very tight. Um, luckily, uh, there were no stress marks on mine, but uh, you do need to hold it right near the base to try and rotate 
uh, this whole piece around uh, because the null rays are facing the opposite direction in bot mode. Um, so uh, I think that's one place to, to be careful of. Another place to be careful of is, as I was saying, the, the knees and how you insert that and then just getting these uh, past this section here. Um, so just be careful there in the transformation, but uh, once you've done it, it uh, is pretty damn good. Um, so for those lucky enough to have those flight stands and so on um, and display these guys in uh, jet mode, um, I guess they, they do look different to uh, Starscream, Thundercracker and Skywalk, which are all repaints of each other, but at least the cone heads uh, do look different to each other in jet mode. Um, so there is a bit of variety there. Uh, but that is pretty much it for Dirge. So hopefully you like that quick look at uh, MP11D Dirge. Uh, hopefully you can click that like and that subscribe button because I do have uh, my other uh, haul from uh, Robot Kingdom in uh, MP36 Megatron, which I got uh, together with Dirge. And I just received MP37 Artfire from Ami Ami. Um, so hopefully you can uh, subscribe and stay tuned for all of those reviews coming up next. Uh, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.